In order to change the flying leads in a spectrum, you'll need this flying leads set. It contains four sets of flying leads. You'll need eight peak nuts, tube of silicon grease, some gripper fittings, labels, a 3 mil Allen key, and a flying lead guide. The first stage is to remove the two flying lead clamps. For this you'll need a 3 mil Allen key. The next stage would be to remove the, tip, the flying leads from the bobbin. This machine doesn't have any, but if you cut from where we're pointing here and pull the leads out from the side, then you'll, have, then you'll be ready for, to install the next ones. Take the first flying lead and remember to add one finger nut on before you insert the lead. Firstly, add a small square of silicon grease to this hole. Take the flying lead guide and insert into the, into the flying lead hole. Feed through gently and slowly Once you've inserted the flying lead guide, it should emerge from the side of the machine, like so. Take the flying lead and insert through the small hole in the guide and pull through till it's exactly halfway. Once you've inserted the flying lead into the flying lead guide, grab hold of the flying lead guide on the outside of the machine and feed the flying lead through. On the other end of the flying lead you'll need to attach another gripper fitting. Take a scalpel like so and cut a very shallow angle through the other end of the tube. Add a, add a peak nut onto the ends. Then take one of the gripper fittings supplied. Metal end first, push the tube through the grip. You may need to use some pliers to pull the tube through the gripper fitting. Once it's seated on the tube, rotate the gripper fitting clockwise a couple of times to make sure it's correctly seated. Then cut at a 90 degree angle to remove any excess tubing. Once you've connected the two nuts, Connect them to the, to the bobbins, as so. Make sure to note which...
these nuts need to be finger tight only. Now cut the tube and remove the flying lead guide. Pull each tube through adding a small extra amount of silicon grease. This will prolong the life of the flying leads. Make sure there's about this much slack. Each flying lead kit comes with a set of labels. On each, on each bobbin there is a label showing which, which, uh, which column you're connecting to. In this case we've connected to PP1. Take the correct label and make sure to add to the end of the flying lead. Here you can see the flying lead's been labelled. This is, this is very important so you know which to connect to the valve box. Pull the second flying lead guide through, flying lead through, using a small amount of silicon grease, the same as before. Then make a note of which column it's attached to and label up as before. Ins do the other side of the bobbin the same as the first, insert the flying lead guard and the flying leads and attach to the bobbin as before. Once you finish the first bobbin, grab all four flying leads as shown and then rotate the rotor clockwise two or three times in order to spin up the leads and to take out any slack. Before attaching the flying lead clamp to finish the process on the first bobbin, make sure that there's enough slack between the uh, nut and the bobbin itself. You can do this by inserting a finger underneath as shown. You don't want them to be too tight but at the same time you don't want them to be too slack either. Each flying lead clamp has a groove as, as you can see here. The front lead should be pointing towards the back of the machine and the back lead should be pointing towards the front of the machine. Make sure to attach the clamp with the groove pointing in the correct direction. Attach the clamp and reattach the Allen keys. Make sure that the flying leads are not being pinched. With the clamp attached you should be able to get still some movement on the leads as shown here. Retighten with a 3mm Allen key. And once this has been tightened, that bobbin is complete. Repeat for the second bobbin and that's how you change flying leads on a DE Spectrum.